Uh, yes, we had al already done this much. Like he puts the, the phone down and goes to the, the van side and he starts packing the bag. So when he was packing his bags, then somebody enters silently. And because that man hits the table, so Jared comes to know about his presence. Who that intruder was? Somebody who had come on uh, with a revolver and his intention is to take over Jared. Jared, pleasantly. Why? This is a surprise, Mr. I'm glad you are pleased to see me. I don't think you'll be pleased for long. Put those paws up. So intruder tells him like, I, I'm very sure like you won't be happier for a longer time. Why does he say so? Yes, because this intruder had come with wrong intentions. Last pencils. This intruder had come with wrong intentions, especially to kill him and take over him. So, and uh, he's, he thinks like when he would come to know about all this, then he would never be happy. This is all very melodramatic, not very original perhaps, but so if somebody comes up at the gunpoint and tells you to be, uh, you know, to give up and all, then you feel like it's very dramatic. It's not something very, you know, normal. Okay, so Jared says it seems to be very melodramatic. It's not original. So it is humorous, isn't it? A criminal had come actually to threaten him and uh, the person who is to be threatened, that person is uh, trying to create humor out of that. So intruder trying to be calm. Uh, so what is this intruder thinking now? The intruder thinks that this man is trying to, is just pretending to be calm. But do you think it is so? Yes, Koyash, come here, come out. Come out. You should not be sorry, your friend should be sorry. He was talking, not you. Sit down. Where I was. Uh, Jared, non-challenge is your word, I think. Thanks a lot. You'll, you'll soon stop being smart. I'll make you crawl. I want to know a few things. See. Jared, anything you like? I know all the answers. But before we begin, I should like to change my position. You may be comfortable, but I am not. So Jared, what does, what does Jared say? Like, I know all the answers, but before we begin, so I know all the answers means like, he doesn't want to answer, he just doesn't want to argue with this man. He says, I, I am not interested in uh, interacting with you much with whatever you're saying. But before we begin, I should like to change my position. You may be comfortable, but I am not. Like you might be comfortable the way you are dressed up and all, but I am not comfortable. Sit down there and no funny business. Motions to a chair and seats himself on the divan by the bag. Now then, we'll have a nice little talk about yourself. So intruder is interested in listening, in talking to the, in talking to, uh, he's interested in talking to Jared about Jared. The intentions we know, but Jared doesn't know yet. At last, a sympathetic audience. I'll tell you the story of my life how as a child I was stolen by the gypsies and why at the age of 32, I find myself in my lonely, uh, this Essex cottage How? So Jared says, okay, finally, I have got a very sympathetic audience. Who is audience? Somebody mm -hmm. listens to you, listens to you. So he's again humorous. He says, finally, I have got somebody who will listen to my tale. So he says, it's really very like, uh, uh, very emotional the way I was like uh, stolen by the gypsies. And at the age of 32, I have found myself in my lonely cottage. So now what's the age of this man? 32. Intruder. Keep it to yourself and just answer my questions. You live here alone? Well, do you? I'm sorry. I thought you were telling me, not asking me. A question of inflection. Your voice is unfamiliar. So what does, what's intruder very interested in knowing? First, like whether this man is all alone or not. Okay, that will serve the purpose. Okay, when if somebody is actually alone, then don't ever reveal to the strangers that, that you are alone. You know? 
so he's asking him i i'm sure like you are alone so then what is jared's reaction jared says keep it to your uh, so so i'm sorry i thought you were telling me not asking me so when the intruder asked him like if he was alone then jared told him like i i thought like you were more interested in telling me something but you are asking me question a question of inflection your voice is unfamiliar with the emphasis do you live here alone and if i don't answer you have got enough sense not to want to get hurt i think good sense is shown more in the ability to avoid pain than in mere desire to do so what do you think so here jared so this dialogue is very important he says i think good sense is shown more in the ability to avoid pain than in mere desire to do so what does it mean punish explain it more sense is shown in the abil ability to avoid pain than in mere desire to do so <clears throat> anshya desire to avoid pain yes okay got it so he says just it's just uh, not enough that you just keep on willing to avoid pain the better is that you actually try to do something with which you are able to avoid pain means action is more important than just desire what do you think mr what do, what does it show he wants to know his name intruder never mind my name i like yours better mr jared what i what are your christian names somebody is talking see chatane yes what did this jared say right now jared wanted to know his name and intruder they was not interested in telling him his name rather he was interested in knowing his name he only knew that he was jared but he wanted to know his christian name that is maybe full name so what are your christian names vincent charles do you run a car no that's a lie you're not dealing with a fool i am as smart as you and smarter and i know you run a car better be careful wise guy intruder listen the guy is no no toy listen this gun is not why i okay yes that's a lie you are not dealing with a fool i am as smart as you are and even smarter and i know you run a car better be careful wise guy are you american or is that merely a clever imitation listen this gun is no toy i can hurt you without killing you and you still get my answers and still get my answers so intruder is very uh, is able to threaten him in a very smart way so let let's see jared of course if you put it like that i'll be glad to assist you i do possess a car and it's in the garage round the corner that's better do people often come out here very rarely surprisingly few people take the trouble to visit me there is a baker and the green grocer of course and then there is a milkman quite charming but no one so interesting as yourself so intruder is very you know keen to know like who visits him how many people visit him why so why is huh okay he wants to replace him but what what does he want to do with this knowledge like who visits him and who doesn't he wants to make sure that there is a lot of people who visit him who are around him yes so he wants to be number one on a safety side that if no one visits him better and if somebody visits him maybe he would like to know like who who that is so that he would be prepared and moreover his main concern or focus will be upon upon ansha what do you think will be his main focus uh, intruders hmm Ja, uh, I'm talking about uh, intruder. What will be his main focus? Of course, Jared. But but what Jareds? 
Hmm? Yes. Uh, last mentioned. So intruders main focus is to learn overall mannerisms of Jared so that the others are not able to identify him. Okay. Okay. One more question. Has this Jared been able to identify or has this Jared been able to make out something strange in this intruder? I'm repeating my question. Has Jared been able to identify or spot or make out something strange in this intruder? If yes, how? Who is asking questions about his life? Intruder, okay. What else? Where, where is a hint that we can say that yes? Okay, what else? He knows a little bit about Jared. Try to understand my question. My question is, does Jared show any sign of knowledge of intruder's plan? A little hint. No? No? Is there any indication that Jared is, is a little bit able to understand intruders, some plan or action or some abnormality? Okay. That is being smart. If somebody is asking you 10 questions, why won't you also ask him some questions? Why to answer all questions of somebody? Rather, never answer any question, especially of strangers. Okay, my question is, look at the point. Are you an American or is it, or is that merely a clever imitation? Jared, what did he mean by this? Look at the dialogue, it's written there. In, uh, Jared says, where intruder had said like, that's a lie, you are not dealing with a fool. I'm as smart as you and smarter, and I know you run a car. Better be careful, wise guy. Are you an American? Or is that merely a clever imitation? Hmm? <clears throat> See this, uh, or is it merely a clever imitation? What is imitation over here? Hmm? Who, huh? To copy someone, whom was he hinting at? Hmm? It is Jared only. Yes, Jared's accent. So here Jared is able to spot that that man was imitating him. So he just wants to confirm, like, is it a, what kind of imitation? Of course, if you, uh, are you an American or is that merely a clever imitation? Clever imitation of Jared himself. Hmm? 